Okay. Okay, we're going to talk about the latest Lipton controversy. We're big Lipton tea bag fans here. I, um, the flow-through bags, um, that's these right here, um, clearly marked with Lipton. My family, this is what we, this is what we drink. All right. Recently, I found this box of Lipton tea bags in my grocery aisle. Like I say, we're longtime Lipton fans. As you can see, it has a little tag up here to the top. It says, Our Strongest Tea. It's only 80 in the bag. 80 in the box, I meant. Usually, I like um, 100, but extra bold. I said, ah, we'll do the 80. Okay. So, I'm expecting my flow-through bag. You know, the Lipton bag with the tag on it. Do you want to see what I got? Oh. Okay, here we go. Opening, opening, opening. Look at this mess. Look at this. Wait a minute. Pillows. Pillows. I usually pay penny a piece for these with the cheap, cheap tea bags. Pillows. No Lipton markings whatsoever. How do I even know that's a Lipton tea bag? No flow through. No, nothing. Wow, look at that. Of course, I called the company. It said you misrepresented this product. Actually, the tea's not bad. Uh, as you can tell, I've used some of the tea bags. No sense in not using them. But I would have liked to have my flow through bag or at least a tag, knowing that I've got Lipton. Again, it's the latest controversy with Lipton. Since they took the overwrap off, I was a little upset about the overwrap missing, but um, this, <laughs> this is another one for you. Um, the overwrap allowed us to take our tea bags in our purse. And now we can't do that unless we put them in a little a plastic bag. So they saved paper. Okay, I agree with that. But I'm paying $4 for a box of... Um, what is that? Pillows. <laughs> okay. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.